Hi everybody, it's Mr. D at In the Middle with Mr. D1 at blogspot.com with teaching tips for lesson 20, day 2 of my sight singing program S Cubed. It's available on Teachers Pay Teachers at Music in the Middle with Mr. D. Alright, so yesterday we learned a really important concept called doubling. It's the same as subdividing, but I have learned in my teaching years, so many years I've taught, that students uh, this age have a difficult time understanding the concept of subdividing. So I use the term doubling to help them get the concept. We can certainly use the subdividing term. I think I threw it into the lesson yesterday, but I didn't make a big deal out of it. They understand doubling a little bit better in my view, so that's what, um, what I use with my students. Um, and today's warm-up is um, uh, all about reviewing that concept, making sure that they remember it. This is a really key concept. My students, when they go to large group performance evaluation to get adjudicated, at the GMEA, Georgia Music Educators Association, they have to be able to be comfortable with eighth notes. So um, this is a, con uh, a concept that has helped them tremendously in that regard. So in this system, I've decided to include it. Um, they learn much more complex rhythms than maybe in other states. Uh, I've taught in other states, and that's what I found to be the case. So my students have to know it. So this is uh, my tool that I use to that end. So today, um, the written warm-up is here. And uh, we asked them questions about what was the tool called, when do we use it, and then I want you to be very careful uh, to keep them from confusing the value of eighth notes with quarter notes. I've noticed in my teaching it's very common for students to confuse those two notes, especially when we introduce the subdividing slash doubling concept to the students. So really pull that in and make sure that you uh, make a point that um, an eighth note normally gets half a beat versus now when you're doubling etc. Just help them not fall into that trap. All right, then we're going to go immediately into the group rhythm exercise and we're trying to give them tools for two-part singing here. So uh, it's a 3-4 exercise. I'm trying to give some 3-4 in the rhythms now a little more frequently over the next few lessons because um, we're going to have to stick it to 4-4 four, four for a, a few more sight singing examples um, as they get used to doubling. So this is uh, important th uh, to emphasize 3-4. Uh, we're going to call into their attention how important accents are, as we always do when they do 3-4. Um, we want to make sure that they are um, feeling the accents together and hearing the accents together, especially in two parts. And ref I'm referring to accents being the glue, helping them stay together if they are aware. And now they need all the tools they can possibly uh, use in order to be successful in two parts of anything, whether it's a rhythm exercise or an actual sight singing example. Um, then we're going to go into the sight singing example. Actually, we're going to play the game. We, um, the forbidden pattern today is la, fa, fa. And then um, we're going to do some follow the hand with skips and steps. Again, the goal is to get them to listen. Um, my young beginners that you're hearing um, me teach uh, I have a few that are really struggling with listening. They uh, still sing too loudly. Um, I'm getting them to, uh, to that place that I want them to be, but as they are missing some pitches, um, I want to give them lots of time. If I do a fa and they can't find the fa, I want to give them a chance to hear it, recognize that they're wrong, and then try to fix it. So make sure you're doing that. These skips and steps are quite complex for them, and um, it'll help if you give them a second and really emphasize listening. Then we're going to do the scale and the real key. No more varied but comfortable dough. Um, they're going to prepare for this particular sight singing example, but you're going to throw in that little new tool so they hear it today, the Ray Fa La tool. Um, so I've shown you that on the video. Um, and the lesson today is all about eighth notes. So um, you are going to need to emphasize how important it is for them to keep the steady, uh, the, that the eighth note is getting the beat, okay, so that they remember to also hold the quarter notes for the two beats. This is really uh, where they're going to struggle. And with the half notes, um, they're going to not want to hold them um, when you double. Of course, it's four. They're going to not want to do that. So you want to call those things to their attention. Help them, as, as you listen to chaos, help them practice those skills. If you hear them doing it wrong, go ahead and bring it to their attention so that we can emphasize this new skill in a way that uh, will help them be successful and get comfortable with it. And that's what you're getting in Lesson 20, Day 2. Um, check out my lessons on Teachers Pay Teachers at Music in the Middle with Mr. D.